Ito ang Broad Streamcast Communicators, ang naiba at kakaibang plataforma sa digital broadcast. Mula Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao hanggang sa iba't ibang dako ng mundo. Broad Streamcast Communicators, ang sandiga ng sambayanan mula sa walang labis at walang kulang na pagbabalita, paglilingkod, maglalahad ng mga mapagbuong komentaryo at usaping pambayan para sa kapakanan ng karamihan. Broad Streamcast Communicators, tuwirang maglilingkod ngayon hanggang sa susunod na henerasyon. Buhay Online Sikahan at kaalamang pangkabuhayan Ating tunghayan Pakinggan at tuklasin ang mga pangyayari at kaganapan sa mundo ng online Buhay Online Sikahan at kaalamang pangkabuhayan Alamin ang pinakalatest trends mula sa trabaho at kung hanggang saan na ang narating ng teknolohiyang ito At ngayon, narito na ang ating host ang ating Teki Mami Si J. C. Bautista Hello, hello. Happy Monday everyone. Magandang magandang umaga po at almost tanghali. Anyway, I, I trust that uh, na tayo ay na we made good use of our time tong weekend. And of course, uh, ang situation sa Manila, ano na, at least nag-revert to, to MACQ. So, a little bit of uh, e-stop restrictions, pero ano pa rin, syempre, quick, ano pa rin, careful pa rin tayo. Kami naman dito sa Pampanga, starting kaninang 12.01 ng umaga, ay medyo uh, somewhat ACQ, kasi G MGCQ kasi dito sa Pampanga eh, pero the restrictions ngayon, I think for a week, for a week or from April 12 to 18, yun nga, yung mga restaurants, na uh, bawal na ang dine-in dito sa amin also. Pwede lang, of course, yung mga delivery pwede, essentials, tsaka food, of course, including lugal, syempre. At tsaka, yun na nga, yung age na, group na mga pwede lumabas, 18 and below, <coughs> sorry, tsaka 60 and above, bawal lumabas. So, sana sundin natin to because uh, like uh, the other day, diba, 12,000 pa rin yung uh, infections all throughout. But, uh, you know, Let's just all follow all the <coughs> safety protocols, no? And na nga rin, on a, on a sadder note again, I lost another friend to COVID-19. At tapos yun, nalaman ko lang kanina, pagtingin ko lang naman sa Facebook. Talaga, grabe, nowadays, pagbukas mo ng Facebook, wala, parang obituary, right? Yun na lang lagi mo nakikita na matay si ganon tong, sa COVID. At saka yun, si Daddy Wawi, si Daddy Wawi Rivera passed away also from COVID-19 condolences uh, yung mga taga Manila dyan na apasyonado ng music box si Daddy Wawi ang, na, uh, isa yung mga venues niya nag-upisa ng mga stand-up comedy ba bago pa nagkaroon ng mga clowns yan si Daddy Wawi <coughs> had music box dyan sumikat si uh, uh, Arnel Ignacio at saka si, siyang nag-discover kay Arnel Ignacio at saka kay, kay I. I. Si Eileen, our friend I. 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 Galas Alas But anyway, condolences to the family of Daddy Wawi. Okay, anyway, uh, this week, uh, I mean today, okay, we're not going to have a, a whole series of what, this week of on one topic. We shall uh, go about topics as we come along. And today, ang pag-usapan natin po ay how social media has impacted our lives, especially itong pandemic situation, no? We all know that... Uh, More and more people have been spending more time online, whether it's on their cell phones or their laptops or their desktops, lalo na itong pandemic. Hi there, Miss Angelica Paz. Welcome. Good morning. Happy Monday to you. And uh, looking forward to a good week ahead of us. Uh, sana nagkaroon ka, uh, uh, you spent your uh, weekend wisely and safely, Miss Angelica, uh, and, found, and found something to do naman na enjoyable. Okay. Anyway, kami naman as a family, we had Zoom 
the Zoom uh, party yesterday for our 91-year-old aunt, the la uh, one of the two last surviving relatives of my dad. Uh, Tita Dali pala, yes, uh, belated happy birthday, uh, happy birthday Tita Dali, Bautista Coronel, and also yesterday, of course, was the anniversary, the anniversary namin ng aking uh, beloved uh, Jenny Lockup. Uh, anyway, so yeah, so going back to our subject today, it's about the, the impact of social media on our lives. I'm sure eh, nasa buhay ng maraming tao ang social media actually, right? So anyway, uh, social media kasi has rocketed. Yung paggamit ng social media nag skyrocket and over over the past decade and a half. Nung araw, 5% lang ng adults sa, sa America were using social media platform nung 2005, okay? That number is now around 70%. Imagine 5%, from 5% to 70%. The growth in the number of people using Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat or other platforms of social media and the time that people spend on them, di ba? Sobrang naging, nag, talagang almost everyone at least sumisilip sa kanilang uh, Facebook or whatever account, social media account. Yun nga, it has, it's, it's gotten so much attention that uh, mga policy makers, mga politicians, teachers, parents. Kasi di ba, kahit sa politics, grabbing social media, di ba, even America or anywhere else all over the world, they use social media for politics. Yun nga lang, some countries, di ba, kinocontrol nila. Like China, they control the their internet. They control what the people see and what kind of platforms they use. Bawal doon ng ano, bawal mag-Google sa China. So, hindi nila alam yan Saka, or mag, mag YouTube uh, well, they just use WeChat which is their own okay they develop their own social media platforms Saka, kino kino control naman nila kung ano yung nakikita ng mga tao nila hindi sila makaparoon ng CNN bawal lalo na anything American right so yun nga so it's, a, it's been a concern kasi even dito sa atin right grabe na rin yung paggamit ng social media ng gobyerno rin saka ng mga tao Para, para sila mag, uh, mag-debate o mag away away Social media na rin ang pinupuntahan. Teachers, parents, and clinicians about, uh, you know, have been studying and trying to review the impact of social media on our lives at saka yung mental health ng tao at saka psychological well-being. Yun nga pinapausapan pa lang. Like, like sa Korea, di ba? Ang dami-daming... Parang ang baba ng self-esteem nila kasi yung mga nagsusuicide ng mga celebrities, yun, yun, mayayaman na yan. Rich, famous, they have beauty, uh, they're handsome and fame. Pero what do they do? Like last year, tatlo na naman yatang 27, 28-year-olds took their own lives just because of uh, unhappy sila sa mga bashers or hindi nila kaya yung mga nababasa nila on social media. Diba? Then why go on it pa? Diba? Ba't ka pa kailangan sumali o pumunta sa social media kung ayaw mo lang makarinig o makabasa ng masamang thing? And we know especially celebrities, diba? You are, you are public figures, right? You know, you know darn well na kasama sa pag sa pag rise mo in fame, yung nakikita ka ng mga tao, pinapanood ka ng tao, then you should expect that. So I guess yung ganun lang um, psychological support or moral support sa Korea mababa kasi ang taas ng suicide rate ng mga ano dyan, celebrities, right? Bakit kaya? Siguro rin, ano, I don't know. I, that's, what, that, that's what the clinicians are sta, sta, trying to study. Diba? So, while the research is still in its early years, Facebook itself the ba? Celebrated 15-year 15, uh, 15 anniversary. Napakayaman na nang gawa ng Facebook na batang yan. Na, na, di ba? Grabe. Uh, media psychology researchers are beginning to to uh, explore the ways in which time, in which and where people spend their times on these platforms, di ba? Ngayon, now, research has been being developed how this affects mental health. Yun nga yung pinag-usapan ko sa dating yung subject natin eh, na yung mental health issue regard, regarding social media addiction, iba na research pa lang kung pwede nilang gawing diagnosis yung pagka-addict sa internet. 
uh, is still under work in the works okay hindi pa yan wala pa siyang diagnosis na ganun or hindi pa pwedeng magreseta ng gamot based on that diagnosis na social media addiction okay social media at relationships no one particular concern is whether yung oras na ginugugol natin sa social media sites is eating away at face to face time or ang tawag diyan social displacement kasi nga hindi na nadidetach natin yung sarili natin sa sa real world dahil sa pag-engage natin sa social media kaya lang da, dapat niyo malaman na ang fear, fears about social distance displacement ay ngayon parang ano ka others or parang dinidis associate mo yung sarili mo sa iba is it is an old fashioned theory okay as as, as we, it can go as far back as in telepono right and probably older than that kasi itong issue ng display, displacement has been going on for more than 100 years sabi na, this is according to Jeffrey Hall yung na uh, PhD director ng uh, ng relationships at technology lab sa University of Kansas sabi niya no matter what the technology is kaya, kaya, kaya wala pang technology noon telepono ng luma or cellphone there's always a cultural belief that it's that it is replacing face to face time with our close friends and family yun nga talaga di ba nang araw uso telebabad tas naging naging packet bell naging naging pager tas naging cellphone right yun pa rin yung social displacement nangyayari na noon pa sabi ng research ni Hall nga tinakinequestion ito yung cultural belief kasi sabi ng sa isang study participants kept a daily log of time spent doing 19 different activities during weeks when they were and they and were not asked to abstain from using social media okay in the weeks when people abstain from social media they spent more time browsing the internet nagtatrabaho naglilinis ng bahay nagluluto or doing household chores kung hindi sila makagamit ng cellphone or telepono na physical or cellphone yun nagtatrabaho sila sa bahay ginagawa nila yung mga usual things however during the same abstination, abst, uh, abstaining periods, wala daw difference yung mga taong ginagawa the, the people spent socializing with their strongest social ties. Uh, you know, ibig sabihin, no, one possible for reason for this is because we tend to interact with our close loved ones through se- se- several different modalities. Diba nakikipag-interact naman tayo sa mga mahal natin sa buhay nowadays? ang iba-ibang pamar- pamamaraan such as texting, emails, phone calls, and of course personal time. <clears throat> Siyempre, iba naman ang case nito sa mga teenagers, di ba? <clears throat> okay. Um, how the social in, social um, how the social media affect our, impacting our lives? Sa, sa adolescent mental health na lang, okay? For many adolescents kasi, di ba? More time at home during the ongoing coronavirus period, ha? Lock na, itong lock na na to. Ang ibig sabihin nito sa kanila talaga, more, kung, to, kung before the pandemic nga, di ba? Ang, ang ating mga kabataan nakadikit na yung muka sa, sa cellphone, sa, hindi lang kabataan, you know, but really, the, the adolescent ones, even the maliliit na bata, na ang mga magulang binigyan na ng tablet. Pag hindi sila nag-aaral, ano naglagawa? Naglalaro, right? Ano nga, eh, maraming parents na just to keep their kids busy para huwag nilang alaga ang masyad na malilikot, bibigyan ng tablet. So, yun ang nangyari dyan. Even before the pandemic, children or adolescents were already spending time uh, glued to their screens. But social distancing and, and limitations on daily life during this pandemic, it has left social gaps to be filled by constantly evolving mga offers. You know, dahil sa pandemic na to, ang dami-daming mga bata or kabataan na lalong na adik sa internet dahil yun lang ang kanilang source, hindi sila pwede lumabas. So, doon sila, yun na nga, nagsya-shopping, naglalaro, nakikipag-usap. Doon nalipat ang kanilang social uh, interaction, right? Kasi nga, bago, even bago mag-pandemic, uh, you know, syempre, 
ang internet ginagamit natin to connect, right? To communicate with people across the globe, everywhere, to, to look for our kamag-anaks, to network and and get people to work with, to get clients, di ba? Lahat yan, ginagawa natin. And now, because yung, yun, nadadala na natin yan sa social media because social media marketing is a very big deal nowadays, right? It is a, it is a very powerful tool for marketing nowadays. So, doon din napupunta yan. Kaya ngayon, marami nagsha-shopping online, right? Kasi, ang, ang galing-galing na ng mga ads online, pati yung pagmamarket, right? A sense of exploration and possibility has been reduced to anxiety, actually, about our rising reliance, at, at nagiging ano tayo, um, reliant or dependent on technology. Siyempre, concern na yan sa maraming tao, even legislators, parents, of course, most of all, because it affects our child and their adolescent development. Yun nga yung sinasabi ko na bata pa lang, 2 years old, 3 years old, binibigyan mo na ng tablet para yung, para yung attention niya nandun na sa tablet, hindi ka na niya kailangan abalahin. Naman, as a magulang, di ba, <clears throat> ang mas importante pa rin talaga, personal interaction with your children. Tapos ano pa, ang concern, a growing concern of social media has been infused with a growing sense of unease, tsaka yung vulnerability brought on by the pandemic, di ba? Yung Centers for Disease Control sa America, they're promoting both breaks from social media. Iniisip, sinasabi nila na mag-break muna kayo from social media para ma-reduce yung stress nyo. Kasi nga rin sa social media, nababasa mo palagi. Yun lang, yung kakasabi ko pa lang, pag bukas mo ng Facebook mo, ano nakikita mo? Candila or blackout or my, our, our condolences or panay ganun, di ba? Nakikita mo rin yung mga effects ng pandemic, lalo-lalo na yung mga deaths. So, what does it do? It, it gives you depression, right? So, social media <clears throat> rin kasi it really affects the person's um, not just the, ano, the demeanor or the the mood mo for the day, pero yung sa mga mababa ang, mababa, mababa ang tolerance for ganyan emotionally, di ba? It affects them, right? So, Sabi nga nila, <clears throat> early studies from China appeared to show links between social media exposure and poor mental health, including depression and anxiety, right? Studies based on social media posts have allowed researchers to identify elevated psychosocial and support-seeking expressions online this year compared to last year, okay? However, these findings could point to either increased use of social media con to convey personal feelings or the rising rates of psychological distress. Ayun na nga. Pero ano na nga, eh, napansin ko na rin yan in the past, for the past two, two years or so, yung mental, ano rin, mental health uh, concerns nag-elevate. At mental health, uh, mental problems and psychological problems for our young people, tumarami. Di ba, ang sabihin niya, Generation Z, mag-start pa rin sa millennials, pero Gen Z, parang lagi na lang of course, as much as they're concerned for the rights, for for equality, and it will bring about ng maraming depression, mental state. Parang I know a, a lot of people already who are who have um, brought their children to talk to psychiatrists, even as early as 12, 11 years old, nagkaka problema na mentally or psychologically. And and then I I have a good reason to believe. Dahil nga rin yan sa too much information na nakikita ng mga bata or ng mga tao sa internet because there's just a wealth of information like I always say, you could use it for you or against you, di ba? And, and in such cases talaga, yun nga, pag maliliit pa, pwede mo lagyan ng ano, control yung, yung uh, kung ano lang pwede puntahan na anak mo. Pero kunyari kung ang anak mo, kagaya na anak mo, 19 years old, very techy pa, naka, nakakahack, pwede niya talagang, they're, they're always gonna find a way to, to look at uh, other sites and to go somewhere, right? Ay, meron pang ano nga dyan, eh, pwede kang gumawa ng fake account. De, pero yun, marami, makikita rin nyo yung, yung mga sa Facebook, may mga bata doon na, na gumagawa ng account na kunyari 50 years old sila or 30, whatever, just because so that they can chat with people. And that's, that's ano, dangerous waters to tread, di ba? Ah, kasi ang dami nga yan, ang dami mga pedophile dyan sa, sa internet. 
a recent report okay, by the Kaiser Family Foundation of America noted that adolescents that adolescents may be at a higher risk for poor mental health now. Outcomes during the ditong pandemic na to, due to increased loneliness and isolation. Yun ang sinasabi ko, right? As well as lack of access to mental health resources dahil sarado yung mga skwela. Being stuck at home could compound parental stress and lead to confrontation. Totoo naman din eh. I, I have a lot of uh, my students uh, online that I teach. Yung mga magulang ko sa I teach from children to from three year olds to seventy year olds, no? And they're saying talaga yung pandemic. Sabi nga natin no umpisa ng mga lockdown, de ba? The first few months ang saya saya dahil family bonding, such and such. Pero after a while na lalo na yung kasi nagaaral yung mga bata sa bahay, na ang stress and pressure is both on the student and the parents because unang una na. The parents are the ones supposed to monitor the studies para ka nag-homeschool. Eh, ayun nga, mayroong tanong sa akin last time, paano kung yung magulang hindi alam ituro yung ano, di ba? Parang yung nag-aaral na rin yung magulang ulit, right? And then at the same time, ayun nga, because magkasama kay araw-araw, you get on each other's nerves, right? Because wala, wala kang interactions sa outside world or sa school mo. Na, na, yun ang difference nun. With, with the schools being closed, it it uh, it garners or it um, brings about you know, loneliness and isolation. Being as stuck at home, kasi parental stress din yon, de ba? Sabi naman ni Vicky Harrison, MSW Program Director ng Center for Youth and Mental Health and Wellbeing sa Department of Psychiatry and Behavioral Sciences ng haba ng Stanford University. Sabi niya ng interview siya. Many activities that are good for mental health are difficult to engage in under, under shelter-in-place orders, such as spending time with family and friends. Yung ngayon, lockdown, right? Milestones and celebrations, what gagawin mo sa bahay, engaging in extracurricular interests, exercising and interacting with nature. Siyempre, yan ang mga namimiss ng tao. Yan na nga, kagaya, kagaya kahapon kami, gumawa kami ng... 91, 91st celebrate, birthday celebration ng, ng tita namin sa Zoom. Pero for us, it was a happy happy um, event because yun na nga, dun mo, dun mo nakuha yung escape mo or frustration mo out of the fact na because pandemic, hindi kayo makakapag-party, ma-celebrate yung 91st birthday ng tita namin. And we had relatives from all over the world. At least because of Zoom, thank God for Zoom and technology, we were able to do that. Meron kami, yun nga, may program, may kantahan, may, may usapan, of course, yun, yung, yung virtual kain, nandun na rin. But, you know, social media, you know, it's become a form of escape for some people. Pero yun nga rin, another way around, cause for depression then for things na hindi mo magawa. Or yung mga nababasa mong sad news, right? Uh, mm -hmm. sabi, rin ni, uh, sabi rin ni Vicky Harrison while young people are resilient o oh, sabihin ng resilient yung nagbabounce back up from any problema madali kang mag-adapt as a whole ang well-being ng young people is somewhat dependent diba, on the circumstances of their family life tama? And, tsaka, and who they are engaging with during the shutdown yung nga, sino bang kausap ng mga anak mo, sino bang kachat niya pag hindi kayo, anong ginagawa niya, right? In other words, some adolescents may escape negative experiences at school, whereas others may be forced into difficult situations at home. So, vice versa, or iba-iba. Yung iba, marami kong students online sinasabi, oh, you know, Miss J, it's really convenient for us to study at home kasi we don't have to commute. Yun, for those physical reasons, of course, Okay lang yan. Convenient and online education. Pero ang nami-miss nila actually, and they're missing out uh, growing up, is the fact that, you know, yung in human interactions sa teacher, human interactions sa mga kaklase, because they can they can confer with each other when in answering questions. At the same time, of course, they, they can cheat together. <laughs> or sorry, no, no, no. Joke. Pero yun na nga, mas, mas madaling ang mag-cheat online, di ba? Kasi google mo lang lahat ng tanong. Meron ka ng sagot. Pero, ayun yun, yung physical interaction. Tsaka yung pagkakausapin mo yung teacher mo, mas madali kang lumapit pa na kausapin kesa text mo, 
para malaman mo kung paano kayo mag-uusap, right? Anyway, so so those are the things, right, that are being considered. Hello there, Johnny Gomez. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, welcome to the show, Mr. Johnny Gomez. So, <clears throat> during the pandemic kasi, di ba, social media may provide a healthy substitute for regular social interactions like nang may mention ko na may miss and the break from home confinement. Kasi, di ba, at least pag nag-zoom ka or nag-ano kayo, kunyari, uso rin ngayon sa mga bata, yung kunyari, beer party or or whatever party online. So, everybody's gonna see each other, talk to each other, may dala-dala ka, bring your own poison, ang sabi namin lagi. So, dala-dala mo yung sariling drink mo, tapos sa certain time, kunyari, nag-iinuman kayo online, maglalagay ka na rin doon ng pagkain. So, yun na lang, virtual party. At least na-experience nyo pa rin to be with other people. Yun na nga lang, KK, kung KKB, kanya-kanyang, or, kanya, or KKD, kanya-kanyang dala ng whatever. Right? So, yun pa rin. So, that takes the place of social interactions. Right? Furthermore, the ba, it may be difficult to separate the effects of social media from the multi multitude of mga stress stress tar- uh, triggers or stressors related to COVID-19. Kasi from the loss of life to economic decline, di ba? Kasi sabi ko sa'yo nga, nakaka-depress yung nababasa mo pag bukas mo ng Facebook, may namatay na naman. Uh, talaga ako, like to me, it's really, really gone too close for comfort na yung mga namatay sa, sa COVID-19 sa buhay ko. Dahil itong mga taong to ay talagang kilala ko sa totoong buhay. And they're gone. You know, I can't just imagine even. My own father included, uh, you know, passed away in this pandemic. It's very surreal. Napaka, hanggang ngayon, hindi ko pa rin yung parang matanggap na yung, yung dad ko, walang ganun na wala. Doon sa pandemic pa, the last year. But not because of COVID-19. Ha? You know, um, he simply died with uh, of old age and led a good life. Okay? But anyway, ang mga adolescents are likely to spend more time online, di ba? As a result of COVID-19. And, and and coming to terms with the reality na ito yung new normal natin, sa kanila parang mas mag, madaling natatanggap. Kasi nga, bago pa lang mag-COVID-19, eh, social media ng buhay ng a lot of adolescents talaga nakadikit na yung mukha nila sa, sa cellphone nila or whatever, or computers nila eh. So, mas madali yung it was easier for them to transition to social to to do so, more social media right uh, because of the covid-19 and because of this pandemic uh, okay sabi ni Johnny Gomez there is a sabi ni Johnny Gomez there is a growing fear daw ma'am sa mga students nowadays regardless of the negative impact ng online schooling tumataas daw ang stress level ng mga students every time na nagpa nagpa-follow up ang mga teachers ng activities or modules. Ayun na nga eh. Uh, nahihirapan. Like my son, of course, oh, my son is studying online and and he was saying talaga, kahit na hindi masyadong mahirap yung, of course, yung hindi mo nakita yung teacher, pero yung mga ginagawang pinagagawa, actually, mahirap. Kasi, ayun na nga, meron kasi sila sometimes mga group projects and dun, dun lang sila nag-uusap-usap online. Pero, I know the, 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 the there is such a growing concern, Johnny. Uh, and pinag-aaral, kasi hanggang ngayon, you know, we're still in the works of uh, of uh, learning and developing our online classes and curriculum. Pati yung mga teachers. Kasi ang teachers din, na-stress dyan dahil sa pag-online, to, to tell you the truth, Johnny. Because, you know, we are we are educators ourselves. Ito aking partner si Ms. Faith, si... Uh, we know about uh, the things that are going on so online education and they have there be, there's been struggles and they're still struggling ako nga i keep complaining about ano eh, yung studies ng anak ko online kasi i parang walang masyadong motivation diba kasi they they also get distracted a lot pag nag-aaral ka online especially nga ayun Pwede ka mag-multitask habang nag-aaral ka, nag-Netflix sa kabila or nag-check out ka ng latest gadget sa sa Amazon or, or you know, tsaka kasi nga ibang classes pre-recorded sa ibang countries, no? Kasi I teach so many people from different parts of the world and yung iba naman, pre-recorded nga yung, yung uh, lesson. So, 
yung mga bata, ipe-play lang nila yon, hindi naman sila nakikita, dahil iba, hindi naka-zoom or whatever, yung platform, tsaka naka-mute sila. So, hindi naman narinunig ng teacher o nakikita yung ginagawa ng estudyante minsan. Yun, iba natutulog, iba kumakain, o iba maglalaro, video, habang pine-play na lang yung lesson. For me, parang nag nagsasuffer din yung quality ng education, I think online, right? So, kasi mahirap eh. Bigay mo yung responsibility sa magulang para tutukan yung anak mo. My goodness, kung 19 years old na yung anak mo rin, will I have to check and check on him every hour to see that he is doing his homework or is he reading the 200 pages that was required of him to read today? Eh, eh may, may andun ako, marami rin akong ginagawa. So, yun ang, yun ang problema dyan, right? Sabi ni Johnny ulit, a study in Europe indicates that one out of three COVID-19 survivors are having panic attacks, anxiety, depression. Kaya itong yung involvement ng friends and families online, napaka-importante ngayon. Totoo naman, talaga, nako. Johnny, I'm telling you. Ang, uh, ang dami-dami kong, of course, of course, I, my network of friends and family is, all, is global too. And ayun ang, ang nakikita nating support. Sa social media, because of this pandemic, we see everybody posting prayers, everybody uh, posting hopeful uh, messages. Kasi nga, mas marami rin yung depressing feelings na nakukuha mo minsan pag bukas mo ng social media, right? Like I said na nga ako, pag, pag tingin mo black, black out, ano man may namatay, o kandila, nakalagay, parang ayaw mo na ito lang pindutin, sino na naman ang namatay today? Eh like me nga, sa si Johnny, I have a total of six friends who have died from COVID-19. And it's not just acquaintances. These are friends, as in people I know, who I've interacted with, have experienced in years with being with them in my life. And, and that's really depressing, right? And yun na nga, sa mga mababa ang self-esteem at mababa ang moral, nakaka-depress to ng todo-todo. Sa mga nag-aaral, yun na nga rin, pati yung Ang lagi nilang reklamo, you know, they miss going to the cafes with their friends. Lalo na sa Pilipinas na talaga hindi na nagbukas ang skwela. Kasi sa ibang countries, bukas ang skwela, pero uh, blended learning. Some are studying online, like sa Japan. Okay, last week lang nagbukas yung universities. After one year, na-close yung mga universities. Sa kanila, uh, hindi pwede yung college students pumasok sa skwela dahil sa, sa pandemic. Pero, Yung mga kindergarten, elementary, tsaka high school, pwede. Di ba parang sila, eh, lahat naman pwede magka-virus. Whether what age. No. The, well, the Japanese people, the government feel that, they feel that, you know, kasi ayaw daw nila mag-suffer yung education ng mga bata. Pero I think it's all economical, economical ish, economic issues. Kasi yung tuition, lalo na sa mga private schools sa Japan, mahal. So pinapapasok nila yung kindergarten, yung nursery, yung high school para meron pa rin income coming from tuition. Kasi uh, yun na nga pinapapasok nila kasi at saka para rin yun sa mga magulang na nagtatrabaho eh, economy na naman ulit yung concern. Kunyari ang parents ng mga Japanese, they work they they have to work. So they have to leave their children in the school so that they can work. O, pag, syempre pag hindi mag work, minus na naman sa, sa income ng economy. So, yun ang ginawa nila. Pinapasok nila yung mga bata para ma makapag-spend ng time yung magulang or even the mom to work part-time or do her full-time work also because they, yung mga nurses nila, lalagak na nila yung anak nila doon all day tapos susunduin sa hapon. Pwede na yun. So, yun yun, I think. Right? So, <clears throat> pardon me. My throat is just getting a little dry. Um, Uh, di ba? Yung mga sa mga teenager talaga eh. Uh, sandali na. Nawala ko di ako sa bilaba ako. Pinag-uusapan ko. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, you know, sabi nga natin talaga na ang social media, ano ang, ang anong, anong impact sa atin ito? Mental health experts, di ba? Sabi nila, ang, ang lahat sasabihin, you have to limit uh, your your use of technology, okay? I, I think, pero I, I think lahat tayo, di ba? Uh, we have something in common. For good or bad, 
social media and technology obviously okay has impacted all our lives especially during this pandemic situation right while we are all forced to socially distance ourselves from others diba? technology and social media kasi played plays an invaluable role kung paano natin i- we bridge tong social social distancing. Yun na nga, face-to-face, na, nagkikita pa rin tayo ng mga friends and relatives, pero hindi natin mahawakan, you know? Kasi nga, social media has provided <clears throat> the connections na <clears throat> pwedeng maputol because of the pandemic, because of social distancing. Pero yun lang nga, like, ako nga, my siblings, I miss them very much, even though when our father passed away nga, thank God it was uh, MECQ at the time, so we were able to have a, a, a short service for our dad, like uh, two days lang na burol, basta ano naman, kasi hindi naman siya COVID, hindi naman yan, 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 yan. So we were allowed to have a service. Kasi nga, uh, <clears throat> we were all forced to socially distance ourselves from others because of the pandemic. And yun nga, ang technology ay nakatulong dito. Like, uh, yung sa there is a lot of give and take when it comes to social media okay it has the same time it has at the same time been our way of staying connected kasi and our way of of, of um, minimizing the depression out of the feeling na hindi mo makita yung mga kaibigan mo o hindi ka makapunta sa office mo magkatrabaho or much worse hindi ka makapasok sa eskwela di ba so talagang nagturn to social media ang lahat and that's why it's obviously impacted our lives, right? Okay, let me let's talk about the good <clears throat> the good things that social media brings about, okay? The obvious things, of course. <clears throat> Pardon me, sorry, Pasensya na po. Hindi, no, 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 not COVID. This is just um, having a, uh, I'm not from speaking all the time because this is what I do almost 24 7 speak, right? Uh, okay, so what what good can we get out of going on social media and being on social media? Ayan. It helps you stay in touch with loved ones, di ba? Especially yung sa mga kamag-anak natin or kaibigan na malayo, nasa malayong lugar, <clears throat> nasa malayong probinsya, nasa ibang, ibang country. Ako na nga ngayon, di ba, I moved. I, last month, I moved to, to Pampanga to be with my, my husband. <clears throat> and family, and of course, I've detached myself from my family in Manila. Pero yun na nga, uh, uh, nakakausap ko naman sila araw-araw because of social media, right? Whether it's on Viber, Messenger, or, or Zoom, you know, I, I speak to them all the time. And this is where, you know, social media has become a, a big uh, part of bridging gaps between long-distance uh, relationships, right? Um, ano pa, it offers the ability to discover new communities and friends. Toto naman, marami akong naging kaibigan that I met on social media sites like before yung mga chat relays, relay uh, platforms from from chatting before to chatting now. You know, I've, I've made real relationships online. Uh, <clears throat> uh, yun nga sa mga friends who are still my friends now. Uh, more than 10, 15 years that they've been my friends and I met them on, on the online, even mga katrabaho, kanigosyo na na-meet ko online na, who are still my friends. In fact, yun nga, yung story namin itong aking husband, um, fiancé, is also connected virtually because, you know, we were introduced by friends, common friends that we have online. And at saka yun na nga, nag- Nag, nag-flourish yung aming relationship online because of the pandemic situation, we became closer. Kasi siya, taga Pampanga, at ako, taga Manila. At ngayon na nga, ayun na, na-bridge na to, na totally, lumipat na ako dito sa Pampanga. Pero yun, it was built on uh, uh, communication through social media. Mm-hmm. Uh, tapos ano pa, ano pa ang good that social media brings, okay? Uh, it promotes worthwhile causes, okay, such as yun nga, tulong sa, sa psychological or mental uh, problems ng mga, mga tao kasi it gives them an escape, it gives them a venue to, to vent out also by, by 
yun na nga, yun, yung binag-usapan natin before na, kunyari, meron kang trabaho sa school, uh, problema sa eskwela, hindi mo masabi, or even sa bahay, yun, nakakapag-vent out yung mga tao through social media. Right? Ano pa? It connects people who offer emotional support from similar life experiences. Yun na nga. Kasi yung mga coaching, online coaching, online tutoring, makakahanap ka ng mga counselors, right? Or life coaches that you can actually talk to online, di ba? Pwede kayo mag-Skype or pwede mo lang muka, boses lang din. Pero it it makes you reach out. It makes your shout out and your reach out. Kagaya kaya pati yung mga crowdsourcing, ganyan. You can get a lot of advice and a lot of help also online. Pero you have to beware also, like the ones that I've talked about in the past. Maraming mga posers, maraming mga fake newsers then online. So, hindi lahat talagang mga specialista. May mga, may mga cyber criminals out there also at saka cyber predators that we have to watch out for. Na baka instead of makabuti doon sa emotional state or psychological uh, state ng bata, maka maka pa, makasama pa. So, again, beware, beware of your, of the relationships that you try to make also and the people that you meet online. Okay? Ano pa ang good? Okay? It provides an outlet for creativity and self-expression. Totoo naman, right? Ito na nga, itong pandemic, anong nangyari? We rediscovered ourselves, number one. We reinvented ourselves. We found out things about ourselves that, we're, that we can do. Pa, kasi sinabi nga natin, di ba, we shouldn't be dwelling of the, of the things na nawala sa atin and concentrate on what we have now and appreciate what we have and look forward to doing things na magagawa pa natin. And this pandemic situation, yung social media, nakatulong ng mabuti para malaman natin na, na dahil maraming online courses that we took, uh, that we can take para to, to equip ourselves better, para mag-add sa ating mga skills, and lahat sa social media na hahanap natin. Sa YouTube, maraming instructionals, at marami ring mga courses na offered online to improve yourself, right? Or or uh, a craft to learn, or uh, uh, mag- matuto kang mag- uh, gitara, or take voice lessons online, or yun nga, crossfit training online, lahat yan possible, no? And through social media, we are able to do that, okay? Like I said, it provides an outlet talaga for self-expression, sa creativity, na testing ng mabuti ang ating creativity, dahil ang daming and daming new businesses na proliferate especially in the food industry right yung mga naapektuhan nga na nagsara ang mga physical stores nila na, na before the pandemic uso na yung mga pop up stores pero all the more now diba on social media yung mga marketplace diba yan ang ginagamit talaga ng marami para i-push ang kanilang mga negosyo i-push ang kanilang services right and that is all for good right because it really helps even marketing na ang social media talaga you know, when doon mo pwedeng gawing pa-viral ang isang produkto mo or isang idea right through social media that is why uh, ang naapektuhan nga diyan yung mga ahensya yung mga physical advertising a- uh, advertising agencies and or marketing agencies because now everything could be done online pwede mong kontakin mga endorsers or mga influencers online diretso na so yun ang naapektuhan naman yung mga ahensya. Yung iba nagsarado na nga. Pero at the same time, those people from the ahensyas na may mga expertise like creative directors, copywriters, writers, social media managers, they are also have found another venue to work in. Because nowadays, you know, with your expertise and experience, yun na kailangan lahat PhD para ka maging online tutor, right? So those Kind of, it opened a lot of doors then. Social media opened a lot of opportunities work-wise also and business-wise, di ba? Oh, sabihin naman natin yung bad things about social media. Ano, anong cons? Pros yung kanina, ngayon naman cons. Kasi, yun na nga, sometimes it is used as a form of validation. Ano ibig sabihin, di ba? Yung public, ano, kasi public conception of you, <clears throat> yun na nga yung sinabi ko. Nag-aano to ng more depression, kagaya nung kinuwento ko kanina, like sa Korea, di ba, yung mga celebrities, na-affectuhan sila masyado ng social media, resorting to what? Emotional distress, depression, and eventual su- 
eventually suicide, di ba? Sad. Kasi, isipin mo talaga, <clears throat> the minute that you d- decided to become a celebrity, alam mong yung buhay mo hindi na sa'yo lang, right? You are a public figure. You owe the public yung popularity mo. Tapos, and you have to know for a fact na you cannot please everybody. Hindi lahat ng bagay kasabihin tungkol sa'yo mabuti. At hindi mo talaga mapiplease lahat, lahat ng tao. There's always bound to be something that something has to say about someone. Parang ano to, at saka ano rin yan eh, yung, yung mga na- naalala ng tao, yung palpak, hindi yung mabuti. Pero hindi yun. Yung dapat meron silang good emotional and psychological support sa Korea para wag yung ganun, right? Pero yun na nga, it, it should not be a form of validation. Like, di ba kasi may ibang tao, pag nag-post, parang, oy, konti lang yung likes ng pinost ko, hindi sila naaliw sa sinabi ko. O itong tuwa ka pag ang dami-daming nag-like ng ano mo, or nagsusubscribe sa channel mo kung meron kang YouTube channel. Pero it should not, you know, social media should not be a form of validation because if they, you know, what you post, you know, also, it doesn't make you as a person. Diba? It should not be a form of validation. Tapos, ito pa, yung mga ibang tao, ginagawa social media as a, as a means of serving as a replacement for meaning, meaningful connections. Hindi naman natin dapat i-replace yung ating mga connections sa totoong buhay with, with virtual con- relationships. Lalo na yung mga ano lang, hindi mo alam pa kung yung talagang mga persona nun ay totoo or saan sila galing, right? Uh, those who are watching that I can't see the names, pasensya na po, hindi ko kayo ma-shout out at ma-acknowledge kasi nga, yung Facebook uh, ko, yung mga pangalan, umaakit na lang pagkatapos na ng, <laughs> sometimes pagkatapos na ng show, but whoever is watching, thank you so much for your support. Uh, so um yes uh the topic today talaga is real and uh, very uh, applicable that's why i decided to talk about it you know yung impact ng social media sa buhay natin and and we're all 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 in it together tong pagka involved sa social media right especially now now nga in this pandemic hindi mo maiwasan talaga na makatutok sa internet eh kasi yun ang lang ang ano buhay nowadays right online and then, and kung wala ka namang uh, wifi sa bahay na nga, yung data sa phone, may mga unlimited na kasi dyan na paggamit ng data eh. Kaya, it's, it's just so easily to get glued or addicted to staying on the internet. Like kayo, ilang oras ang dinedevote nyo sa internet sa isang araw? Isipin nyo yan, pagka, kapag more than 3 hours a day or more, yun, medyo nagiging addict na kayo sa internet. Ibang tao talaga, 24-7, di ba? The truth be told, di ba? Tapos, ano pa ang bad thing about social media? Well, it brings forth the fear of missing out or feelings of exclusion or na-out. Na, na Kaminsan, kunyari, nag-Zoom party yung mga ibang tao, di ka inimbita. O kaya, yun na nga. At saka, hindi pa to. Ito yung, ito yung real ano, example. Nag-post yung mga kaibigan mo nasa bilang nasa isang place sila. Di ba sad ka bigla nilang, uy, bakit ako hindi inimbita? Mag-gather pala sila o kaya nag, nag, nag-birthday, nag-post ng pictures, hindi ka na naman kasali. So, yun yun. Bilang feeling mo na naman, left out ka, di ba? Others ka, hindi ka inimbita. Or, or kahit na Zoom party lang man ba yun, bakit hindi ikaw pinadala ng email para sumali ka sa Zoom party ng family reunion? O di ba, sad. So, yun na nga. That's what's bad kasi yung inter you know, immediate reaction mo to to feeling to, to be feeling left out because pagbukas mo nga ng social media oh my god hindi ka kasali hindi ka invite or even the fact that for example sometimes when you are in a page of somebody and they're all talking tapos nandoon ka tapos hindi ka kinakausap oh feeling mo na naman ano ka others right so, ano yung pinaka-ugly scenario ng social media? Kasi sinabi ko lang good, bad. Ito yung ugly, ugliness about social media that I can see. Can see. It gives an unrealistic view of what's really going on in others' lives, right? 
Because sometimes, kasi, kasi because nga, people can post anything they want. And at the same time, nga, ang dami-daming gumagawa ng fake news. Na ang ibang tao, sabi nga ng aking partner na si Jenny, you know, on, 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 ano pala, my son pala, was the one who told me na, most of the old people daw, they believe everything that they see. Yung, yung mga, of course, totoo naman, yung mga natuto ng mag-social media ng mga medyo elderly na, so nakating, nakating kasi sila ng post, ag- agad nilang i-repost yun without verifying. Diba? Gallible yung mga ating matatanda na iba to think na ganun eh. Kunyari may nag-post ng the world is ending tomorrow o oh. hindi pa yun yung verify ipapo, nare-repost na nila. Well, and, and and at the same time, nga, we don't really know what's going on in other people's lives, in their real lives. Tapos, what, what else pa? It brings out a digital age of vulnerability, particularly with teenage, teenage girls who are trying to figure out if what they see online is real or fantasy. At least yung mga bata, kagaya ng lagi ko tinuturo dito sa aking show na you always have to verify. You have to clarify, verify the news that you get, uh, the the emails that you get even, or the, the proposals that you get online, verify things first, okay? Because even, you know, you know, even I, my own self, talaga, I have struggled with technology, okay? Uh, because of, hindi ako, hindi rin ako makaalis sa technology. Unang-unang bukas ko lagi, or, or, even if pag pinatay ko na itong laptop ko at the end of the day after my work, di ba, syempre, bit-bit natin yung cellphone. <laughs> Tapos na rin natin sa kama so, bago tayo matulog. Ano pa rin tinitignan natin? Internet pa rin, right? So, it's actually become almost a 24-7 thing to use the internet for a lot of people. And, and of course, the, the experts say that's not healthy. Totoo naman eh. Kasi talaga, it takes away the human interaction. Kagaya yan, pupunta ka sa mga party, anong ginagawa, and this mag-usap-usap, nakatingin sa cellphone. Or sometimes, ang sad, nung wala pang pandemic, yung mga nagde-date, pupunta sa isang place, naantay yung pagkain, and this mag-usap, both of them nakatingin sa cellphone. That's really annoying, right? But it's actually a concern, right? Uh, you are, you, tayong mga human beings are social creators. But technology takes away a huge portion of the benefits of social interactions by by eliminating face-to-face communication. Talaga naman eh, iba, iba pa rin yung nag-usap kayo in person. Kasi isipin nyo na overuse of technology and social media, which is designed to hold our attention, or obviously so, may lead to psychological issues eventually, such as depression, anxiety, and isolation. Totoo naman eh, talaga eh. Kasi even in pagsasocial media, it causes intrigue, it causes uh, you know, feelings of uh, being um, isolated. Yun na nga sa mga magkakamag-anak din, di ba? Chismisan, whether real life or online, chismisan pa rin. And it, it, ang, ang end result nun, negative, di ba? Imbis na positive. Although, maraming, mas marami namang positive na magiging Depende rin yan sa iyong demeanor. Depende yan sa iyong disposition sa buhay. It all boils down to that. Eh. Kung, kung ikaw, ano ka, you have a sound mind and body, kasi hodang anong mabasa mo sa social media, hindi ka affected masyado. Kasi tsaka, alam mo, i-separate yung real life mo between your virtual life. Or at the same time, pero kung, kung pero like, like nowadays nga, walang masyado ng work home balance. Like ako, I work and eat and sleep from home and work. That is my work. Wala na akong separation of work and home kasi, <clears throat> you know, this is my life now. I, buhay online nga talaga bagay sa akin because this is my life. And it's just that within me, I know how to separate my virtual life from my real life, even relationship-wise, you know. I know how it is, to, of course, important it is for me to, to still interact with my family. Yun na nga lang, nakikita kami pag meals, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Pero syempre, we have to make time to to be with our social, to do our social interaction personally. Syempre, doon sa mga bahay-bahay, dahil social distancing eh. Yun na nga, di bali na yung mamimiss mo yung mga friends mo or kamag-anak na malayo. Pero yun na nga, kung nasa household ka, yun, you savor the relationships that you have with the people that you that you live with at home. <clears throat> 
you know, let's uh, let's face it, no. <clears throat> Excuse me. Overuse of technology nga in social media can might lead to depression, right? Sabi ng Pew Research Center, 69% of adults and 81% of teenagers use social media. That means a large part of society could be at risk for depression and anxiety, which is yun nga nangyayari, di ba? Ang daming mga emo, emo na mga bakbataan, or, or mommy, I have to see a psychiatrist. What? 11 years old, 12 years old, papa psychiatrist. Oh no, but can I be depressed? You know, what makes you sad? When, especially, you know, when you're trying to give your child everything and there, everything's there for your child, bilang hindi pa rin siya masaya. And because yun na nga, nahahawa yan sa mga nakikita nila at nababasa sa social media so, or sa internet. Our interaction with social media psychologically affects us. Di ba? So, Dapat talaga, we have to curtail or control the time that we spend online, okay? <laughs> Unfortunately, the outcomes of social media aren't predictable, di ba? Yung nga, hindi mo talaga masasabi. And, and, pero, yun na nga, it's coming out na it can lead to mental and health challenges if you don't monitor it, okay? For example, when someone uploads a photo, they want a certain reaction from their followers. Di ba yung sasabi kong validation? Pag meron kang, kasi pinost na photo, tapos konti lang ang nag-like. Me, na-depressed na, dahil hmm, hindi siguro maganda yung picture ko nilagay. Diba? Plenty of likes, their brain rele- releases dopamine. O, ano yung dopamine, diba? It is the feel-good chemical. It's, re- it's, it's release a brain. It, 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 it gives the same feeling that when you savor your favorite meal, yun yung masarap katiling. This release of do- dopamine can be very enticing. And why so many people have turned to social media during the pandemic, right? So, pag mayroon ang kampinos na picture, titin mo kung paano na, anong effect nito sa dopamine. Not enough likes, they could feel bad about themselves. Tapos, I'll tell you my picture, itong bali my picture. So, nakaka-affect ko talaga. So, anyway, uh, we have very little time. We have less than uh, five, five minutes to wrap up this today's topic. But we will continue on tomorrow kasi kailang marami pa akong sabihin tungkol sa mga uh, how we can limit our technology use and how to help, okay? So, mara, thank you so much. Tomorrow, we will continue on that and how social media has impacted our lives, especially in this COVID-19 period, okay? So, maraming maraming salamat to those to talk today and to that joined me today for today's show, okay? We will uh, know more about tomorrow, I will give you strategies on how you can use that you give you strategies that you can use to limit technology use, diba? I should tell myself that. I should tell my son na naka, nakatira na sa computer niya yata. But anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. And uh, uh, this is Monday and we are, we're looking forward to a very productive week ahead of us. And of course, bagong-bagong restrictions, at least nag-isang restrictions sa Manila. Ano na, na kayo dyan, MECQ, kami naman dito. MGCQ pa rin sa Pampanga but with one week restrictions on the time of operation ng mga bawal lang dine in tsaka bawal din lumabas yung yun nga yung mga bata at matanda essentials lang ang pwede rin i-deliver at uh, ang groceries mukas pero yun shortened hours kasi nililinis din ang palengke dito sa Pampanga dahil dumami yung mga COVID COVID from the palengke but thank you so much for joining me and please keep safe everyone and like I always say, please keep the faith and hope and love alive in your hearts and be mindful of other people's needs, be more caring, uh, and be more vigilant tungkol sa pagpapatupad ng mga uh, health protocols, please. You know, dahil talagang talagang totoo ito, ma- pwede kang mahawan ka nung ganun na lang. Mabuts pa, tsaka, tsaka yun pa, kung wala kang pambayad sa ospital, mamatay ka na lang din sa sa kalye. Pero nowadays, di ba, walang diferensya mayaman na mahirap. Walang hospital na pwedeng puntahan. Available. But anyway, thank you so much. And uh, this has been Jay Bautista doing Buhay Online for you guys. Talking about social media's impact in our lives and how the pros and cons we have uh, uh, told you about that. Please keep them to heart. Thank you very much. Namiss ko si Miss Faith Monday. But she'll be back soon. Masyada lang busy. 
Thank you, thank you very much. And please uh, pray for our country and our, the world for this pandemic to stop. Maraming maraming salamat and have a good day. Thank you very much for joining me. Inyong natunghayan at napakinggan ang mga makabagong pamamaraan sa mundo ng online sa pamamagitan pa rin ng Broad Streamcast Communicators. Hanggang sa muli, maraming salamat po.